Let's hope no one notices me here. Okay, hopefully this goes better than last time. to find who's doing that. What now? What the? Oh! 
Off we go now. Here you go. When the real eagle bearer says he's going to do something, he does it. He, he, there, there, Eat up. Let it flow through you. What are you doing? The first of you eagle bearers rode <sighs> east to find this fruit. Said that the horse that eats it turns into Pegasus. Leave it to the gods to hide it in plain sight. The eagle bearer obviously lied to you. Don't believe me? For how much I paid, this fruit has to be real. Here, watch this. Wait! Fly, Pegasus, fly! <sighs> These people are cursed. Adorer, you simply must tell me, what do you think of the helmet? I just got it.
I think it's all right. I knew it. It's ancient, but it's like it was made for me. Whatever you say. You're the one who the villagers worship? I don't know about worship, but they too call me Ajax. And I'm bringing you back to Alponos. Pirates are coming, and I need someone to inspire the villagers to fight. Didn't you hear? Our ships were sunk by some crazed mystios. Now bandits are banditing anyone going in or out of the village, and there's no one to stop them. I'm the eagle bearer. Smart bandits know to stay away from me. Now let's go. You don't look anything like the other eagle bearer. Are you two a team or something? Uh, there is no other eagle bearer. He's an imposter. Like you. If I'm an imposter, what am I doing with Ajax's, I mean, my helmet? That's Ajax's helmet. But of course, it gives the wearer immortality. I paid the other eagle bearer a fortune to find its whereabouts for me. Then I set off to retrieve it as any hero would. I was on my way back when... There is no other eagle bearer. Get that through your thick helmet. You're back.
Fere, Fair Citizens of Alponos, your great warrior, the Eternal Ajax, has returned. of Alponos, rise from your salt mills, descend from the white crystal hills, Locris is under attack! No! The great Ajax has returned, now with a true child of Zeus, for real eagle bearer. You are not Ajax, and that new eagle bearer pushed sweet Nikia off a cliff with a general steed. Nonsense! I am Ajax Reborn, and we will now prove to you I am immortal. Enough! Prepare yourself, Locrians. You must choose to stand and fight, or let the pirates invade and destroy your homes. This will be easier than I thought. Now, light me on fire. What? It's okay. This is a magical helmet. The other eagle barrier told me it will protect me. You light the fire, the people will see I'm immortal, and then they will eat out of our hands. If you say so. I will now endure pure flame to show you the gods bless us. The gods! Want me? Oh, 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 oh. The, the helmet's not working! The helmet's not working! Ah! By the gods! This is going to be a long day. This could not have gone worse. of the real eagle bearer. You're back just in time. How's Nikia? I heard she's trained a stallion for me. Nikia's dead. She thought your horse was Pegasus and rode it right off a cliff. She what? All right. We don't need horses to fight if we have weapons. How many has Calipides made? Calipides had an accident. What kind of accident? The really bad kind. He didn't see some stone blocks. He walked right into them. And... Enough! Without weapons, we are doomed. We haven't talked about Ajax yet. Did you find him? Ajax had this helmet that he thought would make him immortal. And? It didn't. Ah, Malaka. Tell me about it. I would ask literally anyone else, but what choice do I have? I need everyone with a blade fighting with me. You can at least fight, can't you? Let's go. Not a lot of people would have been honest with me the way you were. I respect that. I just hope there's still a chance we can make this right. I will do everything I can to save these people.
Some of the villagers have armed themselves. They still need us to fight with them. Go! Go! All of you, come down! As did you. Forget what happened before. We're alive because of you. That was too close. That was odd. No need to thank me, Megacles. I'm just glad the people of Alponos are safe. You may not want thanks, but you deserve it. I promised everything in the treasury, and that's what you're getting. Now I need to find my impersonator. I can help. I found this note on the pirate leader. They owe him a lot of drachmi. He was hired to sabotage the town. Making invasion easier. Their plan would have worked if the real eagle bearer hadn't shown up. What will you do when you find him? I'll think of something. Off we go.
the actual eagle bearer. <laughs> that explains why the invasion <laughs> failed. I've been stuck cleaning up your mess since I got here. What a glorious mess it was. When the pirates paid me to soften the town's defenses, I didn't think it would be so easy. People are dead because of you! I didn't kill anyone, but you did. We make a great team that way. I steal some tools or blow up an old man's forge, send some young idiot into bandit-infested mountains, lose a general's steed, then watch you turn it into pure chaos. The fact that Megacles and the pirates both paid you is just a bonus. Everyone pays to hear lies they want to believe. Time for justice. May her wrath rain down on both of us. <laughs> Icaros! Malaka! I'm going to feed your corpse to Icaros. Stupid bird.
Try it, Phobos. Best stay out of sight. You don't want to be here!
I should watch my step around here. Why you like going on these quests? The bandits don't even put up a fight. And there's wine! Tastes a bit off, though. Finally come to see a master at work, Varnavas. That's lotus flower wine. The bandits are drugged. Audio 
find Lotus Flower for Navas, snap out of it! The Cyclops! Uh, Come on, old man. Let's get you home. How are you feeling? That doesn't matter. The gods, they sent me a vision. You said the name Lita. The gods showed her to me. Lida was my wife. You're married? I thought I'd lost her a long time ago, but I saw her in my vision. She's alive. We just have to find her. I'll help you find her, but a vision isn't much to go on. There were three visions in the darkness of a forgotten cave. Lida fed a cyclops, but then I saw her drinking wine with a witch. Then I could hear her singing like a siren. About this vision of the cyclops. Right! Thosa and Poseidon took my hand and led me deep into the heart of the caves of Anafi. There, I saw Lida feeding a young cyclops. So, Lida was drinking wine with a witch? See, she herself showed me. The witch and Lida were dear friends, drinking wine together well into the night. In the background, I could see the ruins on Paros Island. You said sirens? Persephone showed me a painted wall. Behind it, sirens lurked. Lida was trapped. Then, Demeter warned me in her motherly voice. You dare not approach, lest your ears pollute your mind. Good advice from both you and Demeter. But what should I use? You believe me? Here, take this. Beeswax. I found this Avlos on a siren, if you could call her that. An Avlos? My wife always loved these. I bet she learned to play it alongside the sirens as they sung men to their deaths. Just like her. I'll bet the Sirens and Lida were good friends. She was so mesmerizing. Her song always worked on me. If Lida is alive, I'll find her. About my Lida, do you have any news? About this vision. Right!
I need to talk to her. Welcome to my empire, traveler. I am a Tsemperis, Kirki of the Oceanids. You... live here? Where are my manners? You must be weary after your long journey. There's some wine in my hold if you'd fetch it for us. I'm a bit indisposed at the moment. I could use a drink. I'll fetch the wine. You really must be parched. Fetch us some wine, would you? Blood be human? Look deliciously thirsty. All right, Empress. Let's drink. That's it. Drink your last drink. Breathe your last breath. My subjects grow hungry.
trophies. This bracelet was worn by a leader. 